Yo, what's going on everybody, this is Mystical. Today I am bringing you a 10.1 video on the PTR, going through every single Mistweaver change that is in the patch notes. I'm hoping they don't change anything within the last three or four hours. So, with that said, let's jump right into the video. There are some changes to our spells, but there are also a lot of talent changes in the talent tree. So I just want to go over those first. So the first thing you're going to notice in the monk tree on the left hand side is you're now going to have a choice node between Ring of Peace and Song of Chiji. Song of Chiji used to be over here. And now I guess they want Windwalkers and Brewmasters to be able to play Song of Chiji. I don't know, but yes, so you have to choose between Ring of Peace and Song of Chiji. In my opinion, for PvP, I don't like this at all. Uh, having to choose between CC and obviously like an iconic Mistweaver spell is is a little brutal, but you're probably going to play Ring of Peace most games. It's just there's so many uses for it. Um, and I think that's it for the Monk Tree. On the right-hand side, there are also some changes as well. So on the right-hand side, you have to choose between Chrysalis and Burst of Life. Burst of Life was also changed so it doesn't have the lower absorption on your Life Cocoon anymore. Uh, and Chrysalis used to be a PvP talent for those of you who PvE. Um, so th this is really good. This is this is a really good change. It frees up a PvP spot. It also makes your Life Cocoon at 45 seconds reduced. Uh, the cooldown reduced by 45 seconds, which is nice. And then they also moved Common Coalescence to a choice node with nourishing chi so you can choose between life cocoon increases healing over time received by an additional 20 percent and then this effect lingers for an additional 10 seconds after cocoon is removed or you can make your life cocoon massive so every time you soothing mist you increase the absorption of it by three percent you're not going to play this if you're fist weaving because fist weaving you just don't you don't cast soothing mist so basically if you're casting you're probably going to play nourishing chi with like maybe Chrysalis, I think Chrysalis is just mandatory. And then if you're casting, you're gonna play Common Coalescence. Now the next big change is the change to Ancient Teachings. So right now, currently, what Ancient Teachings does is it will heal for 150% of the damage you do to one single target. And in PvP, I think it's 375%. What they're doing in 10.1 is they are changing it to after you cast Essence Fine Failing Stomp, which is the same, your Tiger Black with Rising Sun can heal up to five injured allies within 30 yards for 150 percent of the damage done split evenly among them so what this means is you're going to have more spread healing and less burst healing with your with your fist weaving um i think at pvp i think it might still be okay if, if only one person is taking damage then obviously you can do insane amounts of healing if two or three people are taking damage you're not gonna have a lot of like high crit healing but you're still gonna have a lot of spread healing and i think the same things gonna be that way in pve as well um but yeah i think they're also making the same change to holy pallies i think their melee wings is also getting changes something like this but we'll still see it's also the same modifier in pvp so it's 375 percent pvp and still 150 percent in pve um i think we talked about chrysalis with honor talent so new talent chrysalis so this again is in this node right here um, burst of life no longer just the cooldown or affecting his life cocoon so this is a good change i really like this a lot um i don't think many people i mean i didn't play it just because it reduced the effect of the life cocoon vivify primary heal increased by 50 percent what's 20 percent i didn't even know this was a thing what maybe they're trying to compensate for our, us losing our two set and four set but uh, that's a pretty nice heal right there. That, that's a nice buff. Invigorating Mist reduced by 12%. So that is this one right here. The uh, Vivify Cleave Heals. I guess they don't want us to cleave heal as much. Uh, that's kind of weird though, because I, I think it's that's the main point of Vivify. Um, Chi Cocoon now provides a shield for 8% of max health, was 10. So this is the little uh, bubble that you get when you press Chi or Yulon. Or Chi, <laughs> Yulon or Chi G. You get the little buff right here i guess it was reduced, reduced by two percent i think that's okay i don't really ever really press them just for the absorption um and then we have development misweavers rely heavily on feline stomp and we feel in some situations not receiving feline could feel too punishing our goal is to for it to still be an optimal to reset feline stomp if possible but not impact the flow of the spec too much if you miss one so feline stomp cooldown reduced by 10 seconds so that means feline stomp cooldown is a 20 second cooldown so in pve obviously this is going to feel good uh, maybe if you're chain pulling and you're constantly moving um, in pvp this is a massive buff this is a huge buff to fist weaving in pvp because now theoretically you really shouldn't ever run out of phalanx on you should just be able to reset it or if you can't reset it you should have it soon because i'll talk about our pvp talents but uh, yeah, you should never not have Phalanx Stomp up. Comic Code Lessons, Stomp GG have been removed. Yep, we've talked about it. It's already gone. Chrysalis Icon has been changed. I noticed that. Revive and Restore will now properly override each other with the action bar. You could have also used a macro, but 
Um, yeah, that's fine too. You could just use this macro. Where is it? It's somewhere. You could have used a macro, but I guess it's cool that they're going to change automatically now. Invoke Yulon, the Jade Serpent, and invoke Chiji, the Red Crane. Now properly override each other on the action bar. So I guess same thing. These two are just cosmetic things. So that's pretty good. I mean, not not too bad. The changes are pretty solid. Um, one thing I also did note is Spearhand Strike interrupt uh, duration decreased to three seconds was four seconds. So they did reduce the duration of our kick, which it's it's okay i mean i think most people are getting it reduced so i think it's still gonna be good at least we have a kick which is nice um but yeah th these are the changes for pve this this is what every misweaver is going to have starting on tuesday um may 2nd so not bad i think we got some buffs i think ancient teachings is still gonna be good i think that uh having chrysalis as a misweaver talent as as well as comic coalescence these two right here is is really good too i am a little disappointed that song of chiji did get moved to a choice note to bring a piece just because there's it's just so much fun to play these two but i understand and yeah those are the pve changes now for pvp there are some major changes going on so first off leg sweep duration decreased to four seconds in pvp was five seconds they are doing kind of an overhaul with cc this patch so a lot of people are getting their their crowd control reduced grapple weapon is now decreased to five seconds was six seconds perpetual paralysis now reduces range of paralysis by five yards was 10 yards and now selects targets in 10 yards i don't even think miss weaver has that talent i'm pretty sure that's a i'm pretty sure that's a windwalker talent so i don't know maybe should just go to like windwalker but i yeah i don't think we have this but yeah a lot of a lot of cc's getting reduced i you know, one thing i don't notice though is song of chiji has not been reduced so i'm just i'm just i'm just saying maybe drop rop go song of chiji we have more cc i don't know we'll see and then we have some changes to our pv talent so chrysalis again i spoke about earlier it's been removed which is good and it's good it, this is a good this is actually a buff for us so it's been moved to the mystery retreat and now we just have another slot for PvP talent, which is great because we pick that every single game. Thunder's Focus T has been redesigned. Uh, Thunder Focus T can now additionally cause Kraken Jade Lightning to knock immediately or, call, or cause Roll and Cheater to cheat Torpedo to refund a charge on you and heal you. So what this is, is you go Thunder's Focus T and then you can roll. Boom. So I have three charges. Still have three charges. So you basically, it, it's, it's actually insane. It's actually, you get five rolls or like four cheat torpedoes. It's a really, really good talent. Uh, new PV talent, uh, Fey Accord. Fey Land Stomp's cooldown was reduced by 10 seconds. 10 seconds? And enemy struck by Fey Land Stomp are stand for 60%. So this talent right here, boom. So now my Fey Land Stomp has a 10 second cooldown, which is just... I don't want to say it's broken, but it's actually insane because now you should just... Feyland Stomp is, is the source of a lot of your damage with the additional blackout kicks and your Tiger Palms. And now you, on top of that, you have a 60% slow on people. That's really, really good. It's Look at this. It, it, it's so good. It's so good. Um, that's going to be probably... I feel like this is going to be a go-to talent if... I mean, just for the cooldown reduction on Feyland Stomp, it's enough. But the 60% slow is insane. New PB talent, Zen Spheres, place a sphere of hope or desire on a friendly or enemy target, only one sphere of each type can be active at a time. So sphere of hope, friendly target receives 15% additional healing from the monk. Sphere of despair, enemy target deals 10% less damage to the monk and suffers 10% additional damage from all sources. I'm gonna be honest with you here. This is gonna get nerfed. This, I, I don't think this is gonna stay in the game. Uh, this, I mean, I think this is fine. I think this is okay. This is, I mean, this is okay. I think this is gonna get nerfed because 10% damage from all sources is like reducing the the target's versatility by like 10 percent so uh that's this is the new talent right here zen sphere i love this talent. this talent is a lot of fun so i put it i put a sphere on myself you can see a little animation here and i you know this person which is me right now takes 50 percent extra healing i can put it on another target there's no cooldown no mana cost keep that in mind no cooldown no mana cost so keep that in mind uh this is just really good it lasts for 30 seconds so you if it, it can't be can it be purged? I don't... Maybe it can't because it can't be dispelled. Maybe it can be purged. I don't know, though. Because um, it says it's magic. But it can't be reflected because I tested with Harambe with his reflect. So maybe I don't think it can be purged. And then on enemies, you get another sphere here. And then d damage taken increased by 10 Damage taken increased by 10% and healing 10... Dealing 10% less damage to the monk. This can be dispelled, by the way. But if you're tracking the enemy healer dispel, you pretty much just wait until they dispel and then put it back on. I mean, if you're a caster misweaver... You just do the same thing. 
at by bare minimum make sure it's active when your teammate is doing damage and you'll be fine it's a really good talent though i think this is gonna be like a mandatory talent um i really really like zen sphere so i think the mandatory talent is gonna be something like this or something like that and then finally don't miss pv talent now creates a shield based on 120 percent of the remaining periodic healing from velvet mist this is i think a 20 percent buff i think right now it's 100 percent. right now it's and then it's going to 120 120 so there are some pretty big changes there's some talent changes there's some pvp talent changes angel teachings again changed we got a really cool pvp talent with zen sphere so i think overall mistweaver i think this is a big win for mistweaver this this patch i think fist weaving is still going to be insane um healers also get more health from the trinket bonus from the pvp um trinkets so you, i think we get like 15 maybe 20 percent more health than other people so that's going to help with survivability but that's also going to make fist weaver a much more stronger my prediction is that your build is going to look something like this playing pretty much the same way going for chrysalis over burst of life i actually like common core lessons more than nourishing chi and as far as pvp talents go i think zen sphere i really think this is gonna be a mandatory talent as well as peace weaver i think peace weaver these two are gonna be your mandatory talents and then the third one is just gonna be whatever you're queuing into so if you're casting obviously zen focus t or disarm is gonna be good eminence as well um if you're if you're fist weaving fey accord i think is gonna be good peace weaver and then zen Zen sphere um and then alpha tiger needs to fit in somewhere maybe instead of fey accord you go alpha tiger but something like that but yeah overall mystery was looking pretty solid so i'm pretty happy about 10.1 we will see but that is it for me if you have any questions at all please let me know i'll be on 10 point beta all day so if you have any questions for me to test i'm more than happy to test anything you have and that's it for me hope everyone's fantastic today hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you later